Hello guys, welcome to part 33 of the Awakening of the Rebellion Let's Play. And today, there is going to be a massive, massive attack on a planet. Um, basically, I'm going to pull most of my fleets um, from around the galaxy, pile them together, and we're going to be attacking Aragu. If we don't get attacked first, by another stinking set of Black Sun people. This time I do have an ion cannon again, so we can always give it a shot. I don't see much happening, considering if, once again, these level 1 space stations, um, they really do suck. But, I don't know if you guys knew you could do this, but you could literally fire your ion cannon without even seeing them on the map, as long as you hover over them. It's uh, pretty broken, and there's no way to really fix it. It's just part of the game. So now that Venator is disabled, they're probably going to bring the frigate up first. I'm just going to keep disabling the Venator. Find it funny how I always have ion cannons on snow maps? Yeah, I hope they enjoy that... Uh, disabling of their ship. I'm waiting for their frigate to come up. Ion cannon available. I think I've slowed that other ship down enough. There's their ship. And here comes the attack. Now that this ship is disabled and can't fire, I'm gonna pop its shields and then pop its engines. And that's gonna be the name of the game for this battle. Kaboom. And now the space station can use its guns to take out most of it. Now, same idea on this other guy. Also disable him. Let the Y-wings and the X-wings take out the shields. And the engines. Oh, this guy's just in perfect range. Reporting. To be taken out by everyone. That ship is moving away. It's almost dead. Keep firing. Ion cannon available. Got three more hard points left. Our space station is under attack. Honestly, this level one space station is basically yes, sir. keeping it real. He's able to attack, no problem. Here comes the other guy back. Switch targets on him. I'm going to save the Ion Cannon Blast for the Venator. That has to come in sooner or later. Oh, there's the small torpedo ship. And there's the Venator coming in. Just disable him right away. So you can't fire on my ships. Take out this guy first. So that he doesn't torpedo my space station to oblivion. We've got him pretty disabled right now. From the Y-Wings Ion Cannons. And... That's always, always a fantastic choice. And the reason I'm ion cannoning this ship versus that one is because that one just got the large ion cannon treatment. And it, he's going to keep getting it. And there we go. Now it's time for the shields on this ship to go out. And now I'm going to take off the ion cannons for the Y-Wings. Just so that they can use their lasers and do some more damage on the ship. There it goes. Time for the engines. Shoot him a little bit up with the ion cannon. And the engines are gone. You know, main ion cannon again. Meanwhile, the space station is going to shoot this thing with one gun. But it's, you know, it's doing enough damage to keep it suppressed, keep its shields down. 
and looks like they won't be trying to attack me again on this planet for a while. Y-Wings are continue to bomb. I'm going to watch this from cinematic mode. So yeah, as I mentioned in the previous episode, um, I will be officially releasing the uh, the SMG update, for or the <laughs> Awakening of the Rebellion update, um, made by SMG, because uh, they just gave me permission. Um, so I, I don't have any planned sort of um, release date for it at the moment. Uh, I need to figure out how long, how much work I really still need to do and how much I really want to do on the mod and to what extent how many units I really want to add in uh, because if I do want to add in some some more stuff I would need to do some work on it in terms of modeling and texturing um, but besides that yeah I don't really have a release date but it's definitely it's it's definitely going to be approaching And this Venator is continuing to attack. I'm probably just going to skip up until this Venator's destruction. Alright, so we have successfully staved off the attack over Niarwan. I'm going to add another um, space station level to that. I've got a spy drone here that I'm going to send at Sullust. I also have a bunch of smugglers up here. That I need to use, but that's in a second. First, I need to figure out what other ships I need to send um, over to Bothawi to start this invasion. And it looks like they don't have much over that space station either. So I might send that fleet up there to attack that. Meanwhile, um, I'm going to send most of my ground troops. Oh, looks like I engaged someone at Bothawi. So we're going to quickly take care of that. So that's not that big of an issue. They can attack um, Kashyyyk if they feel like it. Do I have everyone here? I think I have one more hero coming in. Um, but I really don't need that hero. That's how long it's going to take him to get here. Yeah, We should attack now while their defenses are low. Hopefully they don't recall units. Yep. They don't have a planetary gun. All they have is a Golan and just a regular old Victory Star Destroyer. They're probably going to try and counterattack me after I launch this invasion. I really didn't need all these ships. Um, but when I planned this attack, they had a lot more units. So let me just get on closer to this space station. Alright, I've gotten in pretty close. Basically all I'm going to do is maximum fire on the space station and let everyone just attack the crap out of it. Take out one of the shield generators. And it looks like we have a huge, huge starfighter fleet over there. Um, they're not engaging me at the moment. They will be in a second though. And this is a crazy, crazy battle. As always, provided by me. You guys know the crazy battles always happen when I'm playing. Look at that. The amount of firepower going down on that space station. And the smaller support ships. I'm just worried about Leia Organa right now. Holy crap, that just got taken out so fast. Meanwhile, the A-Wings are continuing to attack. Oh no! Don't let them sneak away. Oh, he couldn't make it. It was too suppressed by ion cannons. Fantastic. Very quick and clear win on my part. Add some more additional troops over there. Looks like my smugglers are going to be setting up real quick here. I'm going to 
take uh, probably like one of these out. Um, they do have a lot of TIE fighters. Look at all those delicious, delicious credits. Mmm, look at them flow in. Something got corrupted again. God damn it, it's always Utapau, isn't it? Uh, Alright. Let's finish this battle before we start any other ones, yes? This is gonna, you can see that their defenses are pretty ridiculous right now. They're gonna have uh, turbo lasers and, and TIE fighter landing pads and all that jazz. And uh, we need to just get rid of them. A sap. Let me get all the anti fighter stuff I possibly can. It looks like I spawn with two sets of fighters. I don't know how that happened, but that is fantastic. So. Here come the TIE Fighters. And if you think Starfighter battles can't happen on land, you're totally wrong. That is the magic of this mod. Here comes that ATAT, -AT, and that is not good at all. Because I was not ex I didn't actually get any good armor down here. So I can either try and steal it. I'll try and steal it first. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so now we have one of these guys as well. Tried to send scout troopers. There's another ATAT -AT coming in. I'm going to let this ATAT -AT take all the fire for it. God damn it. Trying to get these troops into a single regiment. There we go. Hopefully I might be able to tow cable this thing as well. That might make my life a little easier. Uh, it looks like we have enough firepower to take it out regularly. Alright, looking good. Let's get across this river. They have a bunch of TIE fighters over there. And I'm not going to attack right now. Maybe some of the... yep. T1Bs are going to take out a couple of them. As another starfighter battle emerges. And LATs are in the fray. They're going to land a bunch of troops down. They actually do have an AA cannon up there. They have a bunch of other troops down here. All right, let's 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 fall back here real quick. What are these guys doing? You know, risk a bunch of fighters to save these idiots. Alright, looks like all we have are the X-Wings left. They have double AA cannons, like, the flak is intense. There, there it goes. Okay, this guy can actually, like, not die. Looks like their TIE Fighters are continuing to, to attack me. In the worst of locations, please do not die, you stupid guy. Alright, 
Let's take out those TIE fighters. Come on now. Boom! That was beautiful. Alright. So they do have a couple of troops over here. I'm going to need to restock on supplies in terms of tanks. Lots and lots of tanks. Looks like they're bringing in their new T... TX-130s, and you can see that I did upgrade the uh, the laser cannon on top to not shoot the electrical beam anymore, but instead to shoot the uh, uh, a beam similar to what the LAAT would shoot, and I think that does a better job. Um, however, it does not have a rotating turret to represent where it fires, so it, right now it fires in 360 degrees, and that's not really something I can change unless I redo the whole model, and that's not something I really want to do. So they're continuing to attack my aircraft with those anti-fighter cannons. And I know that any bombing run I send is going to be completely worthless. So I'm not even going to try. There goes an the X-Wing. Oh, there's a glitch right there that I didn't fix yet. Uh, that was made by me, actually as I was trying to figure something out in terms of explosions. But it is of no concern. That will be patched out momentarily, as I know the source of the problem. Uh-oh. This one vehicle cannon is proving to be a huge problem. Probably going to risk the X-Wing. Okay, everything's good. Oh, that was close. Alright. Let's continue to move up. That X-Wing is probably dead. Oh, by the double AA cannons. Holy crap. We're going to need to take out some sort of... That was beautiful. Did you see that tank just take the fire for that infantryman, even though it won't matter? Because now he's going to die. Missiles won't matter either. Alright. Let's take this landing pad over. They do still have turbo lasers, so we have to remember that. Something just blew up over there. Alright. Pretty dandy. So now, the one thing that counters turbo lasers is a lot of infantry. Because the turbo laser can't take them all out that fast. Meanwhile, what counters vehicles is another crap load of vehicles and some torpedo launchers. Yes, can do. I copy. So let's take the infantry down this way. And you can see that, and then you can see that the infantry is just perfect for this sort of job because the turbo laser just can't take them out, and then you just walk up right next to it and blow it to hell. There goes the Tie Fighter. Now we'll move the infantry over this way. Take out that shield generator. I mean, power generator is what I meant to say. Oh, that's where the LAATs went. In fact, that's where the entire regiment of troops went. Oh, 
So it looks like we have a clear bombing run opened up right now. No more A turrets. This is going to be a beautiful bombing run. Except it didn't take out the power generator. The one thing I wanted to take out. Uh oh. I think we got some infantry glitched. Whatever. It's all good. We don't need them. Meanwhile, my vehicles are just waiting for this to happen. This is a stupid turbo laser. That was a very interesting way to disable it in terms of it's going to fire at that turret and it can't hit it through the wall. Oh, the AI in the game. It's just so funny. So funny. And now we can actually take out the shield generator. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you use infantry and never, ever, ever skimp out on a good amount of infantry. However, now, the name of the game will be to just spam a lot of tanks. They're both medics. The medic infiltrators are extremely useful for this sort of assault as well. Uh-oh. Oh, they got a little smart there. You can see that thing has some range now. Continue to move back. And bring the actual big ass tank regiment up. Uh oh. That was not that good of an attack. While the infantry's moving up, soar the tanks. Oh, he's hiding under the landing pad now, is he? There goes a tank. Oh man, that really sucks. We can't hit him now, can we? Let's just open fire with all the missiles we have. There we go. Perfect. Landing pad down. Time for the governor's palace. And there we go. We have successfully destroyed one of the hardest plan def heavily defended planets. Easy and no problem at all. We're going to build it up now. Next thing we're going to do is find out that we're getting attacked yet again in the same location with the same type of reinforcements as the last time by around the same amount of vehicles and or ships. So this time we'll have the smarts to retreat. Now the next planet we have to look into to attacking is Sullust. And we're going to probably create another set of um, units for that, including fleet at Atzeri. Well, we are pretty heavily defended at Atzeri, guys, so... I don't know if that'll be such a smart move on their part. Unless they bring the executor. In which case, another retreat is in order. So that's not a really a big problem, as our ground forces are pretty heavily defended, as you can see. Um, no matter what they throw at that planet, we should be pretty safe. Um, let's see what else we can do. We can also knock back that attack. However, our fleet, instead of going the smart way to Eredu, went to Naboo. So there is that problem. And uh, meanwhile, up here, we have a Star Destroyer just sitting there, along with a nice, beefy little space station. And there's that attack that I was talking about. However, we do have a Jedi down there, and we do have a captured Imperial landing pad. <laughs> so we'll see how it works out for us, if we get the TIE Fighters or if those are enemy TIE Fighters. In which case, they're enemy TIE Fighters, 
we're pretty screwed because they're going to attack from the inside. But they are indeed our TIE Fighters! Check that out. We have our own TIE Fighters. And captured landing zone. That's pretty darn cool. And we do have two sets once again of fighters. I don't know what is going on. We have an Obi-Wan Kenobi. We have an infiltrator squad. We have a bunch of just crap load of troops just waiting to take down the Empire. And, and take down the Empire we will. So, <laughs> I just, I, I still can't believe this is happening. Considering, guess what's going to happen right now? X-Wings and TIE Fighters in the same squadron. Isn't that awesome? Captured TIE Fighters. Do you think the Rebellion would ever actually... Oh, and we're just getting troops out of here. Ain't that awesome. So what we're going to do, really quickly, upgrade the shield generator. Put an AA turret down here. Oh, shit, we still have units down here. Man, how many units did we get? Oh, man, they're going to attack my rubble training facility. Whatever shall we do? How about send our entire starfighter force? Look at this, this is brutal. X-Wings and TIE Fighters. And Rebel Tanks. So we have some LAATs in the area. They're like, oh my gosh, how do they have TIE Fighters? Honestly, we do not need to defend that, that target down there. That kind of is just a waste of time. Should be focusing on defending this planet right here. Or this, I mean, this planet. Well, no shit. I meant, um, this area. What is this? Another X-Wing squadron came out of here. So that makes, gives us, what, a total of three X-Wing squadrons and TIE Fighters? That is pretty funny. Oh no! They're gonna get zapped! Please don't zap us! Please don't zap us! Run! Run, little guys! Run! Heal yourselves! Oh, those are enemy TIE Fighters! I was like, are those mine? I, I don't even know anymore! I'm so confused! Oh, that beautiful AA turret. Meanwhile, Obi-Wan is not even up front where he should be. He should be up front. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Have no fear. Rebel TIE Fighters are here. <laughs> Let's say we have another field commander. There's two field commanders. They're gonna they're gonna start giving wrong orders to each other. That's two ATATs coming up. Hey, uh as if we didn't have enough stolen equipment. Do we have a, a guy that uh, jacks vehicles? Apparently not. This is pretty hilarious. That's three A ATATs. However, my massive Starfighter Force is something akin to like an actual space battle. Wow. Wow. More TIE Fighters coming in, but it doesn't really matter. As I'm continuing to destroy their entire force with captured aircraft. This is just ridiculous. Like, how do you even, like, know what to shoot at? Oh my goodness. Alright. Alright, TIE Fighters. Attack the TIE Fighters. Wait, what? 
TIE Fighters attacking TIE Fighters. Meanwhile, the guys with the zappers just get completely annihilated. I'm just so confused at this point. They've got so much infantry moving up. Alright. So that happened. Always ready, sir. What do you need me? Got something for me? Roger that. Form up. I'm still wondering why we don't get the guy who captures vehicles. Roger that. That is very, very, very weird. Meanwhile, here comes Obi Wan. Fire. Our base is under attack. By fighters? What do, you, what do you think this is? Who do you think has air superiority here? Holy crap. Boom. Even more AT-ATs coming in. This reminds me of the Bothawi battle. Everyone get back. Dude, I think the best thing on this planet is this captured Imperial landing pad. I cannot believe that that could actually happen. But it did! Ha 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 ha. This is just hilarious. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> just having so much fun today. Oh, man. I don't know why these set of battles were just so much more better. There, there was like, oh my, oh my goodness. What is this? How many AT-ATs could they possibly have? This is absolutely an extraordinary battle. Filled with dead Jedis, captured TIE fighters, landing pads, massive amounts of tanks, and all sorts of goodies. Looks like my TIE fighters are actually dwindling down pretty fast. But who cares when I have this much fighters? Wow. No, yeah, you better be on the run. Holy shit. You're losing so much stuff. Wow. Wow, guys. Eight AT-ATs <laughs> and four TIE Fighter squadrons. And not a single unit lost. Best part is, is I'm probably going to put a base in there as well. And then it's just going to get really hilarious. So let's just quickly attack Intersection 5 down here. Possibly take out a Star Destroyer. Get that out of the way. There is still that intersection up at the top of the galactic map that did get taken. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it to chase that down. Um, I think I can defend Felucia pretty well if the time arises for it. We're going to engage the Star Destroyers with the bombers as usual. Possibly these two X-Wings as well. Concentrate fire on the Star Destroyer, because nothing else really matters in this battle. Wow. So it looks like Admiral Akbar has lost half of his shields in this daring battle. But we're, ha we're just having a grand old time here, just taking out this Star Destroyer. Doesn't look like my shields are going to fall anytime soon. Oh well, well, let's just increase the firepower of all units. And that's what that basically does, is it focuses all fire, and then every unit attacking this unit gets a damage bonus. 
So it's a pretty nifty little feature. Meanwhile, all these TIE fighters down here are just getting decimated as well. And those two dreadnoughts are also dead. And once again, we take a space station away from the Empire. Main reason I did this was to prevent any assaults on any other of the other intersections that I don't have really well defended right now. Um, this will keep them from doing so, and hopefully I'll keep my control of this sector pretty well. I just can't believe that I've been battling for this sector for the past like five parts. Uh, it's getting pretty ridiculous, but slowly and s slowly and steadily, we are advancing into the inner core, which I'm going to probably need to do um, pretty soon. Either that, or I need to find Bail Organa's mysterious planets that elude me in order to advance to the New Republic era, because you can totally do that. And it looks like we've cleared out most of the problems around here. This fleet remains above my planet, uh, but I'm not too worried about that. I'm more worried about these bottom planets. Um, I'm, I'm going to make this shipyard so that I am able to create some more of those really good ships. It looks like there's only one victory over Kashyyyk. And with that, I'm pretty sure I'm going to call it apart right there. And I'll meet you guys in the next part. Thank you very much for watching.